we're looking at a lot of water-related issues, water resources, water pollution-related issues. So we're trying to figure out what kind of changes would occur in the event of uh, climate change-related events that happen in this uh, low country area. The college's Dixie Plantation is a great place to go collect samples because it acts as kind of a microcosm for a lot of the things we have going on within coastal wetland watersheds. For us to have an outdoor laboratory where we can install uh, equipment in the ground and design studies that we can execute and actually test it out, that is really unique and we've been really fortunate. We show them how science works, uh, science in action out in the field. When I'm in the lab, mostly what I'm looking at is kind of the secondary analysis of these samples. So I'm uh, analyzing for stable water isotopes as well as dissolved organic matter. We are equipped to do water and soil type analysis. We can uh, look for uh, trace metals, we can look for organic contaminants, we can look for isotopes, uh, we can look at organic matter, and more recently we are also expanded to do some microbial analysis. A lot of my students get hands-on opportunities to work on research-related ideas, generate ideas, and execute ideas. I haven't had to push hard for research opportunities. My professors are phenomenal. It really facilitates your development as a professional in your career path. What we have different here is we are integrating research into curriculum. So that gives us students the opportunity to do research within class setting and outside of class setting. Professionally, what I intend to do is kind of take what I've learned here and apply that to water resources within developing nations to assist with both resource management and pollution. 